Колеги, продовжуємо. Good afternoon, esteemed colleagues. The situation in ATO zone continues to be tense. Uh, the number of incidents of violation of the uh, ceasefire has grown. Uh, these violations are made by the illegal armed forms, and they're using different types of weapons, mortars, grenade launchers, artillery tanks, and small arms. Uh, the militants continue to use the prohibited by Minsk agreement uh, ammunition and uh, armament. During the last 24 hours, there were 22 shellings of the positions of ATO registered from 120 millimeter mortars and three shellings from 122 millimeter artillery. Ukrainian military uh, give adequate response to all the criminal provocations of militants. The most unquiet situation is in the Donetsk direction. 27 times uh, Russian terrorist troops were shelling at the positions of Ukrainian military near Donetsk airport, uh, in particular uh, in the settlements uh, Piski, Opetna, Vdiivka, and uh, Putilovska coal mine. Also, there are incidents of violation of ceasefire registered near Granitne, Verkhnyotoretska, Starognatyvka, and near Gorlivka. In Lugansk direction, the hot spots are Trochizbenka, Shastya, and also positions near Bakhmutska highway. In the evening, the militants uh, got more active in Mariupolsky direction for incidents of violating of ceasefire were registered in Shurokina. During the last 24 hours, in the result of active military actions, we lost three Ukrainian servicemen, nine were wounded. Most of the losses, uh, three killed and five wounded, uh, is connected to the uh, military clash uh, that took place near Katerinivka of Papasnyansky district of Lugansk region. The Ukrainian negotiators managed to liberate the hostages uh, of illegal armed groups, uh, two servicemen of the National Guards of Ukraine, soldiers Mykola Valebny and Igor Panchishin. Russian mercenaries continued to use drones for uh, aerial reconnaissance during the 24 hours uh, in Lugansk and Donetsk uh, regions, nine drones were registered. Also, the bodyguards of Berdyansky team registered three drones uh, at the administrative border between Khersonska region and the temporary occupied territory of the Autonomous Republic of Crimea. Our law enforcers uh, restore peaceful life in the cities that were shelled by militants. Papasna is gradually getting used to life in peace with the assistance of Ternopol militiamen. People go back to their houses and resume their peaceful uh, way of life. From time to time, the militants are shelling at the nearest checkpoints, but in Papasna, the local citizens believe that the horror of the last months will never be repeated. The local citizens were actively helping Ukrainian servicemen to build the checkpoint and were supplying the potable water. The local school children also support our defenders by their uh, paint, uh, paintings. Uh, here's the video of one of the local citizens who came back to his uh, own town. They are uh, here observing the order. Uh, everything is there, checkpoints. If I need to go somewhere, they ask for the documents. I submit the documents. They look at it, they photograph. And now I can go back and forth, it's, everything's normal. The ATO forces supply humanitarian assistance to uh, the uh, population which is uh, suffering. 
to border, boarding schools in Kremlinsky of Lugansk region receive the products, uh, clothes, uh, uh, sweets, and toys from the uh, militia unit Lugansk one. In the boarding uh, schools, the uh, teachers and uh, school uh, and school children are happily welcoming the militia men. The uh, fortifications of ATO, ATO forces are reinforced every day in Lugansk direction. The engineering units uh, of the armed forces of Ukraine intensively work. The people from different oblasts of Ukraine, different regions of Ukraine, together with the uh, military enhance the system of fortification. The construction people work 20, 12 hours a day. All the equipment and uh, uh, is there. The earth and timber placements were inspected at Jatomirsky test field. Uh, the state uh, uh, assesses the military service of each of the defenders. The Ministry of Defense of Ukraine informs that the status of the participant of ATO was uh, given to 47,406 servicemen. Ukrainian Special Service continues to disclose the schemes of financing of militants. The Security Service of Ukraine uh, disclosed the scheme organized by Russian biker with the nickname Surgeon Chirurg. Uh, the criminal, together with some managers of financial companies, uh, for extend uh, was appropriating the money of the citizens of Russia, Ukraine, and some of the countries of CADs. Part of that he was using to finance the militants of so-called DNA and DLNA. There was a search uh, made in the offices of representatives of companies in Ukraine, computer equipment with files that have information about illegal financial schemes were confiscated, as well as money in Russian rubles and U.S. dollars, and also the awards of the FSB of Russian Federation. Ukrainian patriots help our military, the activists and patriots of Gadic, sent to ATO zone two vehicles for the needs of Ukrainian military. The vehicles were modernized and they were covered by armor. Now these vehicles will be used by our reconnaissance people and they will be used for to operatively evacuate the wounded. The rotation of servicemen continues. The uh, servicemen of uh, the uh, battalion of the armed forces of Ukraine returned to Odessa region. Uh, uh, their colleagues, volunteers, local uh, students and citizens of the city came to welcome the defenders. Uh, the activists uh, organized the corridor of glory for the heroes. At the same time, the uh, law enforcement unit from Khmelnytsyna went to the east of Ukraine. Most of the militiamen go to the ATO zone for the fourth or fifth time already. There they will be ensuring the uh, protection of public order and they will help disclose the crimes. Ukraine continues cooperation with the Allies to provide qualified assistance to servicemen. During the last several days, Ukrainian doctors are actively cooperating with 25 Canadian medi medical specialists uh, who came to Ukraine. Jointly, the doctors uh, had more than 30 surgeries for servicemen who received wounds during the ATO. Most of the patients require renewal of the jaws and facial bones. The mission is organized by representatives of Ukrainian diaspora in Canada. At the same time, 11 countries, members of NATO, as well as Israel, are providing medical assistance to our servicemen. Today, there are 40 servicemen who are treated abroad. The total number of servicemen who were rehabilitated abroad is 108. Besides in Lvivsky and Drypinsky military medical centers, there were two rehabilitation centers organized to treat our servicemen. 
We are now conducting negotiations with logistical structures of NATO about the supply of additional equipment. Also, the military are being rehabilitated in Truskovetsky and Pusha Vaditsa sanatoriums. Thank you. Uh, Colonel, any questions? Clarifications? No questions, no clarifications. Thank you.